We understand that a plane has crashed into the World Trade Center. We don't know anything more than that. We don't know if it was a commercial aircraft. 12 miles to the east of Denver is the scene of a shooting. What did Iraq have to do with what? The attack on the World Trade Center. Nothing. Hey, what's good, y'all? It's Red Flag Media. And, uh, let's be honest, right? As soon as you heard, The Earth is like a huge, misshapen asteroid floating in space. You already knew these people were not on our side. Okay, let's, let, let, let's not pretend. I'm going to catch a lot of flack for saying this, but maybe save for the first hour, okay? Even though they put a ridiculous soundtrack and they tried very hard to pander towards the National Geographic Discovery Channel type documentary with, with you know, we'll wait for the results until after, you know, that whole thing. Save for that, they did a good job at showing experiments, which have already been done in one way or another by somebody within the community, independently. They did a good job of, you know, showing these experiments and showing the levels and proving there is no curvature, right? But in the last half hour of the documentary, they just started throwing a whole bunch of stuff together and not really giving you any explanation as to any of it. Like, like, let's actually think about one of the key pieces of this whole documentary, right? The extra continent, which uh, their model is kind of based around, right? They spent four minutes talking about that continent and it was like it was tacked on, nothing. It was like, it was like, this is... Flat Earth if NASA went Flat Earth. This is, this, like, this is what it is. They managed to detect absolutely no fraudulent activity going on. And in fact, oh yeah, if you take the cameras up a certain altitude, it will curve. Really? Really? Like we haven't already shown that that does not happen if you are not using a wide angle, angle lens. They're saying there are pictures being taken in space. And that, you know, plausible de deniability for these guys. Oh, we just didn't know it because it already curves over there and, you know, we just thought it was this Van Allen thing, but it turns out the Earth was flat. Oh, who knew? You know? <laughs> I don't know, man. They contradict themselves almost immediately. Let's think about it. Like, as soon as that last half hour starts going, they start, they go, oh, gravity doesn't exist. But, um, you know, there's this uh, theory that Einstein came up with that is based solely upon gravity that we have to use to support our model. That makes sense to you? It does not exist. According to the experiments, gravity does not exist. And why do Earth photos taken from space show a curvature? According to Albert Einstein's theory, the mass of a large object can create a curvature in space-time around it, able to bend the path of a beam of light in its vicinity. This phenomenon was called a gravitational lens. A gravitational lens. A gravitational lens. According to the experiments, gravity does not exist. That doesn't make sense to me. <laughs> like, oh, well, you know, the solar system might not exist, you know, maybe, who knows. <laughs> what does we, this is important. You, it doesn't take somebody to seven years that you have to take the whole heliocentric model away. You can't just chuck your little flat earth thing into uh, space somewhere and say, oh, the solar system might not be something, but we're still in space and it's still like rocks around and we're an asteroid and th what? Seven years, people? I don't think this took seven years. I think this took a year tops. A year tops. What 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 in that documentary is so conclusive besides their experiments, which, you know, they, they don't, don't take a long time to conduct. You think they were doing this back in 2011? Give me a break. And uh, if we go back to that continent, this is the picture they show for the continent. And then they switch immediately over into CGI to explain the rest. Now, who else do we know who does that? You know? <laughs> like, people might slate me for not giving them the benefit of the doubt here, but really, it's not like they weren't watching what we were doing. Because you can see that that, um, that little light experiment they do with that lens, that was lifted from a video that came out something like uh, a month and a half ago, and it was very clearly lifted from that, because it hadn't appeared before then, until now. 
The following experiment simulates the behavior of day and night. We use a flat convex lens, a model of the continents, and an external light source simulating the sun. The result is a model of day and night in the corresponding time zones. You know, I mean, you can you can disagree with me. I don't mind. I'm just putting my opinion out there. This isn't for, um, you know, uh, you know, to try and sway anybody's opinion. If you thought it was great, cool. But I just think it was a, a clear misrepresentation of the model. And, you know, they can do what they want from that. But it's not going to go anywhere good. Red Flag Media, I am out. so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video presentation if you did please subscribe to my youtube channel like the video and share it on your favorite social media sites there's a lot more to come so stay tuned and we'll see you back next time